2024 Kawasaki Ninja 500, Bridging Tradition and Innovation in the Evolution of Sport Riding. Kawasaki's legacy with the Ninja Sport Bike Series spans over four decades, making it an iconic sight on the streets, recognized even by mainstream America. For enthusiasts, the Ninja name symbolizes high-performance biking. Joining the esteemed lineup in 2024 is the latest edition, the Ninja 500. While similarities with its predecessor, the Ninja 400, are evident, notable upgrades include a larger engine displacement, now at 451 cubic centimeters, and a revamped design. Sporting sleeker bodywork and vibrant colors, the Ninja 500 mirrors the style of its more seasoned siblings. Moreover, it embraces modernity with advanced features like an enhanced LCD display or TFT dash, depending on the model, and integration with mobile devices through the Radiology app. The question arises, can the Ninja 500 carve its place among its Swift forebears? To answer this, Team Green invited us to Malibu, a familiar testing ground for enthusiasts, to put the newest Ninja through its paces on Southern California's spirited roads. In terms of ergonomics and aesthetics, the Ninja 500 blurs the lines between EX and ZX models once more. Embracing the aggressive styling of its larger counterparts, the Ninja 500 ditches the friendlier demeanor of the older Ninja 400, opting for a more serious, furrowed brow look akin to the ZX series. Kawasaki's full-volume bodywork adds to its imposing presence, giving the Ninja 500 a stature reminiscent of its larger counterparts. Despite the flashy new exterior, the Ninja 500 maintains the same comfortable ergonomics and user-friendly approach as its predecessor, the Ninja 400. Standing at 5 feet 4 inches, I, as a shorter rider, find that I can confidently touch down to the balls of my feet with the seat height set at 30.9 inches. Weighing in at 379 pounds when wet, the Ninja 500 remains effortlessly maneuverable at stops and low speeds. For riders of smaller stature, Factors like control lever placement and reach are crucial. While the clutch lever and brake lever are not adjustable, they are conveniently positioned and require minimal effort to operate. Riders will be pleased to know that the rider triangle of the Ninja 500 remains unchanged from the tried and tested Ninja 400, which has received praise for its comfort from riders of all sizes. Kawasaki's decision to retain this setup reflects a wise choice, preserving a winning formula without unnecessary alterations. On the technology front, the base model of the Ninja 500 features a high-contrast full LCD instrument panel with smartphone connectivity to Kawasaki's radiology app. The test models provided for riding in Malibu were the Ninja 500 KRT-SE editions, boasting a plethora of enhancements. Among these, the standout editions are the full-color TFT dash and the Kipass key fob ignition. Additionally, the SE package includes extras such as LED turn signals, a tall windscreen, radiator screen, frame sliders, seat cowl, tank and knee pads, and a USB charger. Moving on to the engine, Kawasaki has pursued a strategy of enhancing the lightweight Ninjet by implementing a stroker motor approach to increase the displacement of the parallel twin power plant from 399 cubic centimeters to 451 cubic centimeters. This involves maintaining the same bore while adjusting the stroke to 70mm x 58.6mm, up from 51.8mm, all housed within the existing engine casing of the Ninja 400. Furthermore, adjustments have been made to the intake and exhaust valve diameters, while the balancer shaft, crankshaft, connecting rods, and pistons have been redesigned to better accommodate the enlarged displacement. The Ninja 500 features a slightly lower compression ratio of 11.3 to 1 compared to the Ninja 400's 11.5 to 1, with the red line shifting from 13,000 to 11,700 RPM. The implementation of the stroker motor doesn't turn the Ninja 500 into a rocket ship. Rather, it results in a quicker response from throttle to rear wheel, improved sharpness without added harshness. While we didn't have the opportunity to fully test the Ninja 500's capabilities on the freeway, previous experiences with the 2024Z500 indicate that the new platform instills greater confidence at high speeds. Simply put, the enhanced power performance of the Ninja 500, 51 horsepower and 31.7 pound FT of torque represents a modest yet noticeable improvement over the 400. 
Moving on to the chassis and handling of the 2024 Kawasaki Ninja 500, while its racing lineage may originate from the track, it proves equally adept on the winding canyon roads of Malibu, a favorite haunt for both sport bikes and cars alike. From tight switchbacks to off-camber hairpins and fast sprints in between, the nimble Ninja 500 shines. Overall, the chassis remains unchanged from its predecessor, featuring the same steel trellis frame, 41mm Showa front fork, bottom link Unitrack KYB rear shock, Nissan dual piston caliper with 310mm floating disc up front, and dual piston caliper with 220mm disc at the rear. During a recent ride on the Z500, a noticeable improvement in front suspension stiffness was observed, which carries over to the Ninja. While specifics on the adjustments remain undisclosed, the outcome aligns perfectly with expectations for a fully fared sport bike, consistent and predictable performance. Even when encountering mid-corner bumps, the Ninja maintains its line and direction without deviation or unsettling jolts. The roads of Malibu presented additional challenges following recent winter storms, resulting in debris scattered along the route. Negotiating piles of loose rock and silted dirt in blind corners demanded swift evasive maneuvers, all of which the Ninja 500 handled effortlessly. The added power from the 451 cubic centimeters engine provided a subtle boost, allowing the Ninja to swiftly maneuver out of harm's way with ease and composure. Closing Reflections The introduction of the new Ninja 500 marks a subtle yet significant evolution from its predecessor, the Ninja 400. Kawasaki recognizes the enduring popularity of its lightweight and affordable ninjas, which enjoy considerable demand among enthusiasts. With the Ninja 500, Kawasaki has ingeniously refined the winning formula, adding just the right amount of zest to attract entry-level buyers. Enhanced power, sportier aesthetics, and upgraded technology and connectivity align perfectly with Kawasaki's marketing strategy. Additionally, the arrival of the eye-catching Aprilia RS457 has reignited the displacement competition in the lightweight class, prompting Kawasaki to rise to the challenge, albeit creating some overlap and competition within its own P-Twin Ninja lineup between the 500 and 650 models. For track day enthusiasts and club racers, the presence of Chuck Graves, riding his fully customized Ninja 500, underscores Kawasaki's commitment to the grassroots racing community. By maintaining simplicity in the Ninja 500's design, Kawasaki ensures that existing tuning knowledge and parts compatibility from the Ninja 400 seamlessly transition to the new model. However, the introduction of the Ninja 500 poses a logistical challenge for racing clubs nationwide, necessitating the establishment of new rules and classes to accommodate this latest addition. While the debut of the Ninja 500 may not shake the foundations of the sport bike world, it represents a strategic move by Kawasaki to fortify its position in the lightweight segment. In doing so, Kawasaki has once again demonstrated its knack for meeting the needs of both novice riders and seasoned enthusiasts alike. A well-executed maneuver by Kawasaki, indeed. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.